everyone, this is Ada. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my luxury scarf collection. So I just thought I'd go through it because I realized the other day I do have a few scarves now from luxury brands. So I just thought people might be interested in what I think of my scarves and which ones are my favorite and what do I wear most because I live in Brisbane so I get so excited every winter to buy, you know, some winter clothes and to wear my scarves and we don't get a lot of winter but I do love scarves. I've loved scarves as an accessory for a long time now. So I'll start, my husband has one so I thought I'd just put his in there. So his is a Louis Vuitton scarf and that's another tip I'd give people and I've started to realise that myself. Um, because I want plain scarves, I, I do want a Burberry scarf, not a Burberry scarf, I do want a Gucci scarf and I was looking at those. I'm actually going to look in the men's department next time because sometimes you can find something that's like unisex that they seem to be a bit cheaper than the female scarves. So I'm going to look at both when I go into Gucci. So, and there's no reason why I couldn't wear this scarf. I mean, I think I had borrowed it. I think I borrowed it and spilled something on it once. So, yes. So this is my husband's, um, like I said, Louis Vuitton and it is just so unisex that one and it's a great scarf especially to wear with denim so I'll just pile them on my lap um, this was my first Burberry scarf and I don't know whether this is a knockoff or it's a real scarf because before I started buying luxury I actually bought this at one of the um, outlets when I was overseas and I can't even remember where I was but I know I was in the States or somewhere let's just say the States um, it does say Burberry, but you know, you don't know. It says 100% cashmere made in Scotland, but this one I bought, like I said, a lot cheaper at one of the outlets. And I just like this one because the colors just go with my trench coat that I had. And yeah, so that that's, was my first one. And I like the fringing on it. So that one. Um, I'm going to try and do them in the order that I bought them. This next one, now this is my favorite. And I think I just love the color of it. So this is the Louis Vuitton. I think they call it the shawl, but I wear it as a scarf. Um, and I think that's the benefit of this one, that it is large and I can put it over my shoulders, but also wear it as a scarf. And I think I like that it's got this color on that side and that color. So I think it's, um, you get you know a lot of wear out of it, especially with your black and white and your denim and you know just plain things. So that one, I think I bought that one next. Um, and these are the ones that everyone says they snag, and yes, they do. But uh, look, I tend not to worry about that because um, obviously I don't want it to snag. But I just think that's you've got to use your, your you've got to use your designer items like your handbags and your scarves. You can't spend your whole life. Um, you know worrying about it if I really wanted another one would I still buy this yes I would or I buy a different color yes I would I wouldn't um, necessarily worrying about the snagging I'll just be very careful with it so that one my favorite the next one I bought and I haven't used this a lot and I need to use it more and I don't really know I don't know if it's red this is a Louis Vuitton scarf and actually the tags don't fall off it and I bought this one made in Italy. I bought this one because it was smaller and I thought that it would be more practical, you know, just to wrap around and do that and off I go. But I don't know why, but I'm going to try and use this a bit more. Um, you know, the Louis Vuitton print on this is not stand out like the other. Maybe that's why. Um, I do love red. There's no reason I've got red handbags. I like to wear red. So um, I think just, I just forget about this one, to be honest. So that was my next one, and I bought this in Sydney. I can't remember where I bought the others, to be honest. But anyway, this one was definitely in Sydney at um, one of the special times we flew down and we got shown around and the back room and everything it was quite exciting. So that. Then this one I bought in Brisbane. This is a Burberry scarf. Uh, Brisbane had just got a new Burberry, um, and I went in, and I think I got a bag, my pink, I um, can't remember what that bag's called, whatever that bag is. Um, I have shocking memory as I age, I'll tell you. In mid 50s, well I'm 56 now, mid 50s, words do not come to me. Uh, is it the banner bag? I think it's the banner bag. 
Anyway, so I bought the banner bag and I wanted a scarf that sort of went with that sort of colour. So this is like a, a mauve sort of pink colour and I got this from Burberry and I got this around my birthday. And I don't wear this one a lot either. I think I'm more after maybe plainer scarves now. But this is a beautiful scarf as well, especially um, good for Brisbane weather. I'm going to try and, um, this would look lovely, I was going to say, I'm going to try and wear this one a bit more too. I mean, this would look great with grey, I think, or burgundy dress, sort of wine colour, anything wine sort of colour. So that one. And my latest one, which you would have seen on my video when I went overseas, I got this. This one was um, Singapore and i haven't used this i still have the tags on this i haven't taken the tags off but i'm so looking forward to using this so this is more like a shawl as well but i think um i'll probably wear this and just wrap it around my shoulders when i go around at night time if i want that extra warmth or maybe in the daytime if i'm not sure whether i need a jacket or i might just take this and use this so that one as soon as we get some cold weather in brisbane i will start to use these things but we're in autumn here and we are so still very humid, still humid. As you can see, dressed in a t-shirt, white, you know, don't feel um, like summer's over yet here. So those, and I thought I would um, include um, my bandos, is that what you call them, from Louis Vuitton. I haven't got any um, Hermes or anything, Twillies or anything like that, but I thought, I've just stored them in this Burberry box. I need to use these more because on handbags, you can actually put them in your hair, wrap them around your wrist. Um, I'm, I decided in my wardrobe, if I don't have things out, I don't tend to use it, so I've tried to make these more accessible. So the first one I got was just a traditional uh, Louis Vuitton bandeau, and I, it's not, I, I've used this, I think, a couple of times around my bag. And I'm not a real... Um, bandeau person really i'm not going to buy any more of these because unless i'm you know never say never but i don't think i'll buy any more bandos because i i wear a lot of print and i just find that it's too much with my outfit but i wouldn't mind today even wearing this if i wrap this around my hair or you know on my bag because i've got white on so i think to wear these you have to dress quite um not have a lot of print on and this one i got not so much to wear but when my husband bought this one for me. I loved it because it had so much of the history. I don't know if you're going to have to be able to see it that way. Mind me, it's too wide. Um, I did have someone inquire about this that they wanted to buy it, but I didn't want to sell it. Um, so it is actually very beautiful. I mean, this one would be lovely if you wanted to frame it or do something like that. But I just love how it's got the travel and the trunks and cars, the old fashioned well, 1920s, 30s cars just beautiful so that is my collection so this winter my aim is to wear these more so follow me on Instagram too and I try and post a picture every day so in winter when the weather does cool down I'm going to try and wear these things and wear more of my wardrobe so if you've got any questions just leave them down below but thank you for watching my video see you again next time bye if you like this video, please subscribe, push like and follow me on Instagram. And don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style. See you again next time. Bye.